What's up guys, welcome to this video. Uh, as you can see in the title, today we are reviewing Vinny's alternative mod. It's, it's called Sudenland Crisis, Project Liberty, Valgrun. Sorry, my pronunciation in this shit is pretty bad. It's like a alternative history stuff. With, uh, I think, Germany versus the Czechs. So yeah. He made some clothing, he made some guns, and we're gonna look at them. So, this is the, the Czech clothing. This is the German one, and here I got a bunch of guns that he made. So, the clothing looks quite nice. I don't know how many, or, or how much time he spent on this, but, no. The clothing looks quite nice, though, I don't know, man. This right here, you know, the little linings. I don't know, man. I don't really like that. It's like you're kind of looking at the the character of Nelson. I don't fucking know what you call it, but yeah, it kind of looks like that. But overall, it's still pretty nice. So yeah, you. It kind of looks like a Lego or Minecraft. I don't fucking know, you know, because it's all blocky, and uh, that's not really needed in my opinion. But still, it looks quite cool. So let's take a look at it. Mm, the, the outfit looks alright. Helmet is a bit shit though, not gonna lie. Like, even the German helmet, which is, I think, supposed to look this way, looks kinda off. Maybe I'm a bit too spoiled with all pixel shit. That looks so nice. But yeah, this looks very cool. Very decent. Like the clothings are nice. But I got an opinion on the guns, and you'll hear that next. So yeah, that's enlisted clothing. Looks all right. Then we have the officer shit. Uh, looks also quite all right. You know, nothing, nothing too special. I like it, but you know, nothing really that special about it. And this hat looks a lot like the police hat. Or reminds me of much. Here, let's take a look at it. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the police hat. I know it isn't the police hat, but it, it resembles it a bit. But yeah. So let's swap it back. I said, let's swap it back. So yeah, pretty, pretty all right. These German clothes. Uh, I don't know. They look alright. But uh, honestly, I've seen better clothes. Uh, I don't really like this. This grey with the green. I like it better when it's either all green. Just like uh, Pixels clothing. Or, you know, uh, just better colours that match better. I don't know. I don't like green and green and grey together. And I'm pretty sure that the Germans had clothing like this. But personally, I don't really like that. Um, let's look at the officer clothing. I like the officer clothing though. I still don't really think the pants match in that color, but it still looks better than the enlisted clothing. It looks nice. So let's take a look at the guns. So you may think, because I think there are like 13 guns. So you may think that I'm missing some, but you know, over here and over here so yeah let's take a look at the vz24 the model is all right nothing too special about it it's decent i had a little argument with him about it because this looked a bit weird but when you look at the in real life version of it the it has like little detail on that bump over there and it doesn't have it on the gun itself in the game, in this game, so that's why it looks a bit weird. So this sounds, I don't know like what vanilla gun this sounds like. I think sport shot or another one, but it really sounds like a vanilla gun. Right, let's take a look at the car 98. 
have the same sound. Yeah, the models are all right. They're all right. They're not models that I really like, though. They're too. Here, just look at this. So this is the the, the CZ24, and you have the CZ38, I think. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't really like how they look. They're obviously they're like the same gun, but you know different model or whatever. But I just don't really like them. They look practically the same. Yeah. And I know he. Also kind of sounds like a vanilla gun. Uh, I don't know man, it's not really my... My... Uh, okay, this sounds different, but like a vanilla gun. Not that it's bad to have a gun that sounds like a vanilla gun. And he most... He probably was going for a vanilla look. I don't know. I really don't know what style he was going for. Oh yeah, let's look at the Lugers now. Pretty nice. Let's take a look at this one. This one looks a lot like the. I mean, in that picture, it looks a bit like the golden gun from a 007 Nightfire. The PS2 game. Yeah, models are alright. They're alright. Let's take a look at the MP38. Let's hear it. Yeah, nice model. Decent uh, recoil, like every other gun. This is the KP38 or KP. Sound alike. Oh shit, let's make it day by the way. I didn't notice that. Let's take a look at this Z ZK238. Yeah, 383. Three. I don't fucking know how to say it. Nice. Nice fire rate. Uh, let's take a look at this MG over here. LMG, HMG, I don't know. I like this sound. Nice recoil too. Uh, let's take a look at the MP38. Uh, 34 I mean. Okay, cool. nice model. I'm sorry if I come over as really rushed, but the thing is with this mod is that the guns don't look that appealing to me, at least some of them. Like this MP38 looks pretty nice, but this MG34 doesn't look that appealing to me. So, and it looks more like an MG42, if I'm being honest. But that might be just fucking blind. Alright, this, this, alright, okay. alright, alright, that felt like a real MG, at least. I take it that is a heavy MG. And this is the ZB37. Looks really weird. The gun itself looks really weird. Because right now, if I'm looking at this, it kind of looks like a weapon from Star Wars. I'm sorry, it, it looks more like a weapon from Star Wars now. Nice sound though. And, you know, and when I look at the real pictures of it, it doesn't seem to have a handle, or some of the pictures. And, you know, it looks better. Obviously, it looks better in real life, but you know, the gun, the guns don't appeal to me that much. Some of them, like I like this MP38, I like this KP31. Uh, I kind of like this one. I like uh, this one too. 
The pistols, uh, I, f I think the pistols are quite ugly. The rifles are alright. The clothing is pretty, pretty, or pretty good. So yeah, what's my verdict on this mod? My verdict is, I give this mod a seven out of ten. Uh, it's not my favorite mod that I've ever looked at. I'm, I'm sorry, Vinny. I'm very sorry. But it's not my favorite mod. It's definitely not a bad one. Nah, definitely not. And I'm also, uh, you know. I'm also like looking that I know that Vinny probably haven't spent that much time on making guns yet, or maybe he did. Maybe he did. I don't know. So I'm just making sure, you know, with that. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Seven out of ten for this mod. It's definitely worth a download because it's quite interesting. A mod about a alternative history event. So that's why it's definitely worth a download. And clothing is quite good. Some of the guns look very good, but the sounds definitely don't really appeal to me because some of the sounds really sound like vanilla guns. But yeah, they probably are the sounds of a vanilla gun. But yeah, goodbye.